Welcome to TV TV Sport and to the Sunseeker International County Ground, where today Horndean are the visitors to Hanworth United in the Wessex League Premier Division. If you're local to the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul area, and you've got a load of rubbish that you need getting rid of, give my mate Steve a call at All Clean Waste Management. Or if you have some financial issues that need us ending to, give my mate Bruce a shout at Scammell Associates. With one automatic promotion place and one playoff place up for grabs, this is a critical fixture for both teams. And whether you're in excellent form recently, Horndean will be looking to get back to winning ways. Next up for me is another massive promotion match in the Wessex League. It's Hamworth United against Shaftesbury. It's a beautiful day for football, so let's have a look at the squads and the starting 11s. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button on YouTube and also drop us a comment and if you really love it, subscribe. YouTube do all sorts of weird stuff in the background, so every interaction you have helps me out. Far bit from me to tell tales, but I'm told that this is the best view of these officials, Nigel Whitfield, Mark Sirs and Timothy Paul. Right, let's crack on. These highlights are brought to you by TV TV. The match's first chance fell to Zach Willett. As you might expect, the Hammers went down the other end and responded, but this effort from Hodge was way over. As the first half progressed, the Hammers grew more dominant and created more chances, like this one for Cam Munn. As you can see though, none of these chances were cast iron goal attempts. And once again, I was wondering what I was going to fill my highlights with. Would it just be a compilation of headers like this? But I needn't have worried, because soon after that wonderful header, Lee Francis made Cameron Scott do a bit of work. The half was drawing to a close with wave after wave of Hammers pressure. And that was that. An enjoyable enough 45 minutes, but nothing really to write home about. 
And as we soak up the halftime entertainment, I'll just remind you, if you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. And if you've got something to say, drop us a comment. The second half started with Sam Hookey clearing off the line with his head. I'm not sure how much he actually knew about it, though. We're 10 minutes into the second half now. Time for a breakthrough, I think. <laughs> Lee Francis pounces on Scott's punch out like a cat on a bowl of wool and puts the Amers 1-0 up. Just five minutes later, the Hammers doubled their lead. A powerful run from Max Wilcock comes to a close, but he manages to tap it to one side for Cam Munn to follow up. Oh, it was a massive everywhere we go. The next couple of clips feature Eddie Hodge. One fantastic, the other pretty painful. Thankfully, Eddie got some treatment and was able to carry on. What those clips also show is the valuable nature of my little side cameras. They capture all sorts of interesting, funny and unusual aspects of non-league football. I've had a spate of people playing with them, turning them off, zooming out, pointing them down. Please stop it or I'll just have to stop putting them up. We're very deep into the match now and Harry Jackson goes through but Crick Clark manoeuvres him out of the way and concedes a free kick on the edge of the area and also earns himself a yellow card into the bargain. Up steps Brandon Miller.
To much less fanfare than it deserved, Miller curls it in beautifully and gives the visitors a fighting chance with just a few minutes left. Straight from kickoff, and where we thought they'd give the Dean crossbar another visit. In the precious little time that was remaining, Horndean did their best to try and draw level. But alas, time waits for no man, and the referee's seen enough and blows up. It's a 2-1 win for the Hammers. That win sees the Hammers stay top, five points clear of Shaftesbury. Horndean slipped down to fifth following Brockenhurst's victory over Fareham. Just by way of a quick reminder, the midweek match for me is back here at the county ground where Hamworthy take on Shaftesbury. They don't come a lot bigger than this. I hope you can join me then. The highlights should be up Wednesday night, if not early Thursday.